Welcome to scale modeling videos. In today's video I will be showing you how to sand and polish a car model that has been gloss coated with pledge floor care, okay? Now this is also referred to as future uh, and uh, now I think it is referred to as pledge revive it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure now this product is not available and it is referred to as pledge revive it, okay? Uh, now the main point uh, about this process is uh, if you coat a model with pledge floor care and then you let it dry uh, when you wish to sand and polish it you cannot wet sand it okay so uh, main point for this video is do not wet sand uh, pledge floor care because this is a water-based product if you try to wet sand it it will activate the chemicals in the product and the gloss coat will just peel off uh, and uh, you will uh, you know have ruined your gloss coat and your model okay and I know this because I've done this in the past right here yeah, I've made this mistake the only way to sand pledge floor care is to use a very fine sandpaper okay which is what I have here I have a 12,000 grit sandpaper okay I bought this online off amazon.com uh, and uh, you can do something similar you can buy a very fine sandpaper off eBay or amazon.com because it's very hard to find these uh, high grit sandpapers in uh, car stores or even uh, warehouses okay right up what else do we need for this process we need uh, to me is polishing compounds you can use other polishing compounds if you think they work I always go with to me as polishing compounds. You have your coarse, your fine, and your finish. Okay. You need obviously the uh, 12,000 grit sandpaper. 10,000 grit will also work, and something higher than 12,000 will also work. Okay. Uh, earbuds or Q-tips. Okay. A microfiber cloth. Okay. Uh, this I think is a uh, Meguiar's microfiber cloth for a uh, high shine finish. Uh, a transparent box. This, uh, once you've gloss coated your model, use a transparent box to store your model in when, uh, whilst it dries, okay? That way you protect it from getting dust. Make sure you clean the inside of the transparent uh, container before you put it on top of your model, okay? Now something that I'm going to use in this video, which is completely optional, okay, is a, um, a drill, okay? You can use uh, your own drill, you can use a Dremel drill, uh, I have uh, something very similar, I have an Ozito drill, okay? This has three settings, and so they're very handy in polishing uh, and sanding model kits, okay? Now with the drill, I, I don't like to use the felt as I think it's too rough, so I've ordered some buffing drill bits, okay? As you can see, I've already used that, and you'll see that in the video. These are very soft. Uh, I think they're made of cotton drill bits for the... Uh, rotary tool that I have here okay and they're very helpful in polishing okay I will uh, put the link in my description of where I bought these I bought these off amazon.com okay uh, very helpful I will also show you how to polish the model if you do not have a drill bit okay radio let's get started now uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is me gloss coating the model with the pledge floor care, okay? Now, the main thing to remember uh, with this step is once you finish gloss coating the model, make sure that you let it dry for at least three days before you begin sanding it, okay? In this video, I have let the model dry for five days before I begin sanding it, okay? The second thing to remember is once you've finished uh, gloss coating it, 
Make sure that you use a see-through or transparent container to uh, store the box while it dries, as you see here. So uh, the first step is obviously sanding the body. So here I have 12,000 grit sandpaper and I am going to lightly sand the body firstly in a horizontal fashion. So I'm sanding the roof and then I will sand it vertically, okay? As you see here. And if you look closely, you'll see uh, scuff marks uh, where the uh, paint or the gloss coat is beginning to level off. Okay, this is in times one speed. Uh, I will uh, obviously increase the speed of the video, otherwise we'll be here all day, okay? The video is going to run in normal speed for this portion so uh, you can see uh, how long it takes to actually sand, say, um, the hood of the car and uh, exactly how I do this, okay? So I'm about finished here with the uh, sanding of the model. This is the first sand of the uh, model. Uh, once I'm done, I clean it off with a uh, microfiber cloth, okay? And then I apply my uh, first polish. So this is the uh, Tamiya polish course, okay? I apply this to uh, clear off the scuff marks from uh, the sanding. I'm now going to use the uh, rotary tool. Now with the rotary tool you want to keep it on the lowest setting, okay? To uh, clean off um, the polish. Once you've cleaned off the polish you can turn it up uh, by one setting, okay? And that should be about enough. Don't go too fast. So this is the last or slowest setting and to clean it off you can use the second last or um, second slowest setting, okay? I am now going to apply the compound to the rest of the body to clean off the other scuff marks that I have caused uh, by sanding it.
Here is a look at the body after our uh, first compound has been applied. So you can see that the sanding marks, most of them have been removed. However, there's still a bit on the hood there that you can see. We're going to continue this process now by applying the uh, second compound, which is the uh, Tamiya Polishing Compound Fine next, okay? I am now applying the um, Tamiya's uh, polishing compound fine okay the blue one uh, I'm using an earbud uh, to apply it uh, once again and we're just going to clean it off using the uh, rotary tool again Once again, I am wiping off the uh, uh, fine compound with a microfiber cloth and here is a look at what the model looks like after our second uh, polishing compound has been applied and cleaned off. Next I'm going to apply it to me as polishing compound finish. Uh, this is the uh, last stage in the three-step uh, three polishing process, okay? Here it is after polishing it using the uh, rotary tool, okay? So I've gone over this two times uh, from start to finish, from coarse, fine, and finish uh, twice. Uh, as you can see, there's some imperfections here at the top of the hood. Okay, we're just going to sand these out, and then this time through, we're not going to use the rotary tool. We're going to actually use our uh, 
hands uh, and uh, apply the polishing process uh, two times through again. Okay, I finished sanding the body for a second time. Uh, you can see the imperfections have been sanded out, okay? Uh, I'm now going to apply the uh, polish. So first up, I'm going to apply polishing compound coarse using a Q-tip, okay? As you're seeing here, uh, once I've applied it, I will rub it uh, in a circular motion, once again with the Q-tip, uh, or in a side-by-side -side motion, and then clean it off using my um, microfiber cloth. This time through I'm going to apply the uh, polish without the rotary tool, okay? So you can see how this is done. Now I have already done a video on how to polish a model. To have a look at that, uh, please have a look at the video in the top right hand corner there. Here it is after we've gone through the three-step process again. Uh, I am now going to repeat this process from start to finish, okay? I'm going to sand the body again, polish it again. And here is the result after uh, going through the process a second time, okay? As you can see, there's quite a lot of scratches on the body, so I'm going to polish this uh, a few more times through to uh, get rid of as many scratches as I can, radio. But as you can see, the imperfections on the top of the hood 
are now gone.